everyone, how's it going? It's Nadie, and today we're doing another full face of Timu makeup. As you beautiful people know, this is about the products and not the people behind them. Any tip you may have with them, please cast it away because this is a channel of positive energy. Okay? Thank you. Oh, my little cobbler gobbler, how you doing today? I hope wherever you're at in the world, you're having a great day so far. I myself am doing wonderful. It is a beautiful day outside. I'm a little bit nervous for today's video because my skin is doing something and I'm not quite sure what. Also, I feel like I have to sneeze. A chew? But welcome back to part two of this. I wasn't even sure I was gonna do a part two, but I was so freaking impressed with everything that we tried with our first haul. Oh my gosh, that foundation was beautiful. Literally everything was just the fucking bee's knees. The day that I put out that video, I went and ordered ordered another haul, everything was under $20 total, mainly because I'm a cheap ass. But also if you've been on Timu, no, this is not sponsored, but you can buy a lot for 20 bucks. Like you can do all your Christmas shopping with a $20 bill. So $20 on makeup, like we should be able to get a fuckable look. In fact, this whole bag is full. Like, look at this. My goodness. Wait, I think there's stuff in here that doesn't belong. I ordered things for another fake ass review. It's not necessarily fake ass. It's just a dupe. Still though, we have plenty to choose from. Still more in there? Uh -huh. I even got falsies. This is why drunk ordering is always the best. It's like your birthday. I just don't know what I'm gonna get. Let's take a peeky poo at our goodies, shall we? I see something really squishy in here. What the fuck could that be? Did I order a sanitary napkin? An elephant condom? Made in China. Well, that doesn't help. Oh, that's pretty. It's a bronze hair. Yay! Also, no matter how many Timu videos we do, these are not sponsored. I buy this shit with my own money. I'm not sucking anybody's dick. We are just here for the ride and hoping these ingredients don't kill us. These don't the whiskey will. But I'm looking at my foundation. Isn't this the same foundation we tried before? Well, no, this is totally a different thing. It's just almost the same packaging. This is very ordinary-esque. But this one is by Beauty Glaze. This is the soft matte waterproof liquid foundation. It's oil controlling, naturally flawless, long wear, full coverage, and a lightweight feel. I think this was well under $3 and this is in the shade Huarm Peach. This might actually match. Mary Jane may have helped me with that one. Then we also have an actual consquill the last one that I got was like 10 shades too dark and it was basically a pot of custard and I did end up trying it underneath my eyes and holy shit it was so thick it was basically cement it did not look good and it immediately creased up do not need that in my life this one however I think it's probably gonna be a little bit too light but it reminded me of that Maybelline stuff oh my gosh I think it was called the instant age rewind and this is called instant age reset I just got that I don't think it was called this on Timu but that is too fucking funny and this is the shade two, but shit, I probably should have gotten the shade one. You never know. It does have the fuzzy little tip. Nowhere near as nice feeling as the actual Maybelline one. This one almost feels like one of those orange earplugs. But this was actually $3.97, which isn't too far off from the Maybelline. So like, you might as well just get the Maybelline. It is a true classic. The foundation was $4. Okay, I splurged this time. The bronze hair was $3. Here we have a dual-ended matte lip liner and lips stick. Ooh, dual ended. Double the fun, baby. Ooh, all right. This seems legit. Oh. That looks kind of icky though, I'm not gonna lie. Why does it look like baby shit in a diaper? It's just deformed and a little bit odd, but we will still try it. Oh, that's cute. My, she's long and girthy. We like this. Okay, I'm hopeful. It does smell like crayons though. That product I actually don't even see in my order. Oh, nope, there it is, $3.40. Wait, we were supposed to get two. Oh, we have to. I think I got a lighter one so that I could do a nice ombre lip. Oh, wait, that looks the exact same. <gasps> What the hell? Oh, there she is. Well, that's not gonna help me. I'm glad this was a two-pack. A two-pac, if you will. Oh, there we go. I fixed it, kind of. Now it looks like a Hershey's chocolate that's been sitting in the car too long. And the rest of it is still in the cap. Yeah, I don't know that we'll use this shade, but the other ones seemed okay. But both of those together were $3.40. Then we have some lashes for 89 cents. Y'all, lashes are something that I will never fucking pay anything more than like a dollar a pair for. And even that is a stretch because you you can go on Alibaba, AliExpress, straight from the manufacturer and get a hundred pairs for $10 and they are beautiful quality like what you'd find for $10 or $20 a pair. Do not be fooled people. Lashes are so damn cheap. Then we have a shimmer stick. I didn't order a shimmer stick. What the hell is this? I ordered a color corrector contour stick. Half the fun in this is trying to figure out the translation. What the hell? Well, on the picture, this is like a two-toned stick 
stick. One side highlights, one side contours. Bitch, where? Oh my gosh, my nose is dripping. I'm not sick, it's because of the air conditioning. Why does this look so different? It even has a little split down the center of it too, like it's supposed to be two-toned. It's like you're staring down a peony right in the eye. And I think it's actually lighter than my bronzer color, so I don't know, we'll make it work. This was $2.69. And we have three more items. This is Double Fine Eyebrow Pencil by McKing Pretty. Oh, really pretty packaging. But brow pencils are yet another thing that you can find so inexpensive, literally anywhere where inexpensive shit is sold. Timu, Wish, AliExpress. And I shit you not, they are the same thing as what you find in Sephora. How the hell much was this? Oh, 89 cents. Fuck, you can't beat it. Oh, then we have a three color blush by Pipple. This is a fantasy girl three color blush. Oh, get it? Yes, you stargazer queen. What an itty bitty little blush too. I have cigarette lighters bigger than this. Hopefully she's all intact. Uh, yes. Mm. I'm really digging this shade. Ooh. Oh my gosh, it stinks. What does it smell like? I'm trying to remember what chemical and chemistry this most mimics. Arsenic? No, that has no smell. It just has an odor. Not like rotten or anything. Kind of smells like a pencil eraser. I don't know, that's interesting. But for $2.24, you can't really be that mad. Then last up, we have something. I don't know what yet. We'll see. I'm assuming probably eyeshadow. <gasps> oh my God, that's really cute. This is so fucking tiny. In the picture, they make it look so so big, which we all know that story. It is all about the angles, my loves. That is so damn light though. It's like 10 shades of white and then one pink and one black. But otherwise, very, very snazzy. So I'm excited to create something simple and cute with her. And this little lady was $2.67. So even though she's tiny, we're pretty much paying for what we got. So my luscious queens, let's prime our face and dive in. Ooh, wow, I'm kind of oily. Let me wring my face out first. To prime, we're going in with Dew of the God's Tahitian breakfast. That sounds tasty. Speaking of breakfast, cheers to you. Nom, 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 nom. Hmm. And hopefully this foundation is just as amazing as the first one that we tried. That was so beautiful. Did it possibly break me out? Maybe. My skin has been good, but a little bit finicky lately. So I don't know if it was that that made me break out or like 50 different other things. You never know. But if I break out tomorrow, I'll probably assume it was this. So let's go on the safe side and do one squirt on this side. Oh, what is happening? Oh, she came out fast. She is excited and ready to play. And this is much different than the first one that we tried. This consistency is a bit more watery. The color looks great. It's not immediately oxidizing. Well, this is gonna be a good time. Let's dip our brush in and spread this around. Oh, she's light. Wow, yeah, I think my concealer is even darker than this shit. Well, okay. Sometimes that's how the cookie crumbles. Oh, wow. This really does have some good coverage. Fuck. Even though it's too light, once we're bronzed, it might be okay. Hey, all the times I wish this oxidized. Oh my gosh. Damn it, there's another eyelash just pinned to my cheek. This always happens. Something gets stuck on my face. Why can't a hundred dollar bill blow on my face and get stuck there? This though, it does look a little bit heavy on my skin, but I do still have a nice luminous glow. It's kind of on the matte side, and I think that's what looks heavy. Lately, I don't fuck with anything matte. But even so, that looks hella gorgeous. This is one pump distributed all over the whole face, even in the beardo. And it's kind of my color, but it's really bringing out the redness on my eyelids, which I didn't even know I had. But apparently I do, so yay for that. But for the most part, for a fucking $4 foundation, tell me this does not look stunning. We'll see how this is at the end of the day, though, because after a few hours, this could have melted into my chest fur. Yeah, damn, Poppy. Oof. Next, we will go in with our Not Maybelline Can Squeeze Squee. Hopefully this isn't too dark, but shit, I think it is gonna be. Ugh. If it doesn't highlight Maybe we'll use it as an actual concealer under my eyes and then go over that with just a little bit more foundation to even things out. Oh, I don't know. Oh my gosh, and it's starting to come out the top. It's like a squished snow puff, snow globe. What are those deliciously disgusting like coconut white hostess things? This looks like that, but after like 40 years of sitting underneath a mattress. Okay, here, oh, oh shit. I'm not even gonna continue, fuck, damn. Ah, uh, oh my gosh. Also, I had to use like at least a third of this just to bring the product to the top. Fucking look at that. Oh God. <gasps> this is my 
favorite shirt. I look so good in it. Oh my gosh, I have to go wash this. Hold on. Oh, hold on. I need to go soak this in some Dawn. Oh my gosh, that was so stressful. Some dish soap and a potato scrubber did the trick. We already have this shit on our face. It's been here for like five minutes drying down, but let's just attempt to blend this out. We can at least see if the formula is decent. Oh, wow. It's like those people who put like blush and a W on their nose. Oh, but color aside, that actually is blending out really, really well. And it is doing a decent job concealing. It's almost color correcting because it's so orange. I'm tempted to put this on the other side too and just put a little bit more foundation over. Oh, I think we should. We're not gonna drop it this time because I'm wearing shorts. I like, you know what? The shorts are coming off. Nobody knows. Well, now you do, but it's just our secret. Ah, oh, there we go. The way it should be anyways. If you're a YouTube watcher, I guarantee to you that nine out of the 10 videos you're watching, the people don't have pants on. Yeah, I don't mind the formula with this. The color is a little bit fucked up, especially if this is only their two. And I don't like how much of this you have to use. Like it legit would be so much easier just to get a fucking Maybelline one. And it's not that much more expensive. So I don't really understand the full point in this. I'm gonna apply a little bit more so we actually get some good concealer action. And then I'll go over that with a little bit of foundation. I could probably just use this as a foundation, but I'm not going to because that other foundation was so damn pretty. And now I just have a whole pound of makeup on my face. As far as the formula goes with this concealer, it is fucking bangable. Legit the exact same as the Maybelline. So if you like that, you would like this, but also just stick to the Maybelline. We'll go in with a little bit more foundation, which this definitely did oxidize. So that's fun. And now our face is just like tie dye. <gasps> My God, now this has exploded. God damn, it's like a condom. It's just full. Ew. I'm gonna take this and just go around the perimeters of my face because we have too many colors going on. I don't even know what the hell we're doing at this point. Like, are we actually gonna end up with a decent look or am I gonna cake so much shit on I can't move my face? However, after plopping a little poot poot right there on my forehead, this does look pretty damn good. Like this is a great combination, even though everything is full fucking coverage. Like there is no skin showing through. But even so, I don't look excessively cakey. It just looks like I have a nice full coverage foundation on. I have absolutely no complaints. I think my skin is glowing. It's porcelain. Fabulous. Damn, why do we pay so much for products? I'm gonna say that every time we do one of these. And we're not done with creams yet, so we can't go in and set. We have to use this contour stick, which is probably the same shade as that concealer we just used. We'll see, here we go. Let's plop this right there. Oh, nope, we are gonna be good. So let's just take this all around in the usual spots. Damn, fuck, this is a lot. Let's go right there too. Get that super skeletal look. Does it blend out, does it? Ah, uh, oh yeah. Well, damn, it feels like it'd be super heavy and greasy and waxy, but it's blending out marvelously. Like I'm barely touching the brush to my nose and she's just fluffing right out. Fuck yes. I like when everything just kind of works out and this seems to be doing that. Huh? Yeah? Fuck. I cannot believe it. Between this contour and our last contour that we had, I just am shooketh because they feel and perform like really expensive products. And I think I like this one a lot more than the last one because this is on the cool side, which a contour should be. The under eyes, they're still a little bit orange. Like this general vicinity looks like it got a little bit too much sun or maybe spray tan. I can't tell. But overall, does she look bad? Not at all. I wouldn't know these aren't products from like Sephora. Well, suck and fuck my ear low ball to hell. I am just so shocked. Let's quick powder because it's getting a little bit shiny and I can already tell this is gonna melt. I did not get a powder for this order, so I'm just gonna go in with my Floresis. There's still a little bit of excess powder on my face. Ignore that. But if you look past that, bitch, my face, my skin, just everything looks so Great. What the hell? How a boot we go in with some bronzer. This looks a bit too deep. Oh, Smells like baby powder. It has a picture of like a cupcake on it. So I thought maybe it'd smell sweet, but nope, that is straight up like Cody air spun. Well, let's take our little brush and dive into that. Ooh, she is ah, very powdery. Come on, mama, warm this daddy up. Oh, I think I flicked too much off. Maybe, no, is that all right? Can't tell if anything happened. Going with a tiny bit more. Oh, God damn, this smell. It's like I'm changing a diaper. I really can't tell if anything is happening. It might just be that it's a little bit too light or it could be the exact same shade as what I have down or it might just not be doing anything. Is it though? Maybe it is. I mean, whatever's happening doesn't look bad. No, I think that might be all right. Huh, well, oh God. 
Yeah, fuck. This is so far going rather swimmingly, wouldn't you say? And normally I like to save the blush for last, but we're just on a powder kick here. So let's dive into these. I don't know if I want to like mix them all or if I do just want to stick to this little lady right there. I do also like the salmon -y one. You know what? Fuck it. We're just going to mix them. Oh, man, damn. Oh, wow. Did y'all see that just cloud of probably asbestos? That makes a lovely color. And let's tap her right along the temple and work our way down. Mm, yeah, I don't know about that. I think let's try this end one alone. Mmm, that's actually very nice. Not the most pigmented thing in the world. Like, this would not last you very long. But is it acting as a blush? Absolutely. fucking lootly Lovely. I feel like one side kind of looks a little muddy and the other side maybe a little bit more defined. Although maybe they're both kind of muddy. Mm. And I normally don't do anything with my eyebrows, but today we're going to. I guess let's do them before I do my eye lock. I am going to keep this super simple. Just fill them in a little bit. This is actually a little bit too light and too red for me. It's going down really well. It's like a perfect mixture of creamy and waxy. Kind of rubber around in between my eyebrow furs. I'm so glad we've gotten off of those like contoured and shaped brows because I was never going to hop on that boat. I am terrible at brows. Yeah, that's nice. It's just not my color, so it's kind of spreading out everywhere and it's making my eyebrow look a little bit fluffy and fuzzy and yeah that mm -hmm. it would be a decent product if it actually matched me oh it's like a brow tinting gone wrong just gonna do a little bit of damage control here one moment fabulous so i'm gonna take whatever foundation is left on this brush and use that as an eye primer hopefully shit sticks down and baby we have got no other choice than to keep this look simple so we're gonna do just that you actually get some rather ugly shades in here like what color is that bile on its own it's not unattractive like this little group actually matches but the pink in there it doesn't make any sense it's just weird let's dive into this pink with a falufi ass brush we are gonna plop that all over the crease line and blend the shit out of it oh fuck that's actually pretty nice there's no fallout it's not flying all around the room so there are two pink dips it does kind of disappear when you blend it out so there's that i'm not mad i'm not terribly impressed but this is okay i'm not even sure what to deepen this up with. Normally I'd go in with like a deep red wine, a berry, a plum, but we don't get any of that. We just get these greenish toned browns. It doesn't make any sense. I guess let's go into this gal right here. Oh god, those colors together are hideous. Like why? Mm-hmm. That just... Uh, maybe a little bit of this dark shimmery-ish black. I just need a little bit of depth here. Give me something. Well, that might work, but again, not cute. It doesn't want to move and it's just really fucking ugly. Well, it is about time that we've had a failure of a product though. I will say that. It's fine though. When in doubt, just slap on some shimmer and call it a day. Don't you wish everything were like that? Put some glitter in that medical bill and send it on over. Here, I thought you'd like this instead of money. Wee. Yeah, so. Hey. I guess on the bottom lash, let's start with that dark black and I'm going to press it into my lashes. Ooh, okay. She's got some pigment there. What the hell? And then we can blend this out with a pink. Ooh. No. The black is just sticking and it's getting like ashy looking. It's kind of like I lined with a Sharpie. That is so fucking awful. I can't even. This palette had really good reviews too. Although everything on Timu does, which is very, very suspicious. Like I'm addicted to the app, but I've also noticed that they can be a little bit shady. Like when there aren't any real reviews for a product, they'll show the store's reviews, which might have five stars. And it makes it look like the product has five stars, which may have totally been the case with this palette because this is like a half a star of that. And the half star will probably only be because of the shimmers, which were probably good. You have to actually purposefully fuck up a shimmer to get a bad one. Let me smoke a little bit of this bronzer out down here. Maybe that'll kind of bring everything together. Oh God, I forgot this smells like baby powder. Oh fuck, actually that did kind of help. Now with the shimmer, I feel like we should dive into this beautiful pink one. There's not that much pigment with that. Okay, let's mix this pink one and this goldish one together. Maybe they'll make something. Uh-huh. Well, well, it's not bad, but it certainly isn't good. It just kind of exists, which is very surprising. However, I know there are products out there that are kind of made to be on the more sheer side. There's cultures that enjoy a sheerer look, but if you build the shimmer up, there's actually a little something, something there. I'm going to dip my finger into this kind of deepish gold and we can take that from the outer corner inwards, even though not much is showing up there either, but at least we have something down. And then right on the inner, inner part, I'm taking this super fun and bright like silvery white. Just a great little sexual highlight. Okay, so there is something, not quite sure what. I don't think I'm gonna line my eyes with liquid like normal, so I'm gonna take this 
Sets Up Beauty, our 112 brush, and dip back into this black. And we're going to tight line the upper lash. Oh, please go down and don't blind me. Yeah, not bad, actually. We have just a touch of mascara on, which means it is time to get into our falsies. We are going to have to cut these bad boys. If you wear falsies and you're not cutting them, then you either have really big eyes, which is great, or you're not wearing them properly. So if you don't know, oh my goodness this is like double layered wow that is nice first of all i need to cut the little nip off the front then we're gonna put it on our eye and i can tell that i have to cut quite a bit off look at all that she would have just been hanging on the side flapping in the wind like dog ears and with this extra you can either discard it you can put it right on the end of your lash for a little extra thickness or you could draw on a beauty mark stick it to that give it some personality and we'll plop this little lady right there and not too bad oh i do just wish that i had gone in with actual liner though because you can see the little bit of space between my real lashes and these but that's fine it's not like i'm trying to convince anyone these are my real lashes so the eyes are done now that these lashes are on i actually don't mind how this looks lashes and liner are two of the biggest things that could help unfuck up any look so now we have our lip products shit i went and picked this up and it fell out is this the good one or the bad one? Oh fuck i think this was supposed to be the good one my goodness the lid won't even stay on oh okay it's actually not that bad however it does doesn't feel like a liner it does feel more like a lipstick like it's not really set into place this is probably just gonna squish all the hell around but color wise it's actually really pretty i do wonder though if the one that isn't having the best day is a little bit darker you know me if i don't have black lips then i'm not happy whoops I should just use that brow pencil as a liner oh yes the other one is deeper let's try that one uh -huh. Fuck, maybe it's the same. Well, it's darker, but what was down before is just slipping and sliding fucking everywhere. It looks like I blew a whole college basketball team. So here is the liner. It's very comfortable. It just feels more balmy. Let's go in with the actual lipstick. Uh, it feels the exact same as the liner. But you know what? Mmm, that's not bad. I would say this has a very similar feeling to like ColourPop. They have fabulous lipsticks in my opinion, and this feels and looks quite similar, both with the pigmentation to the actual formula. So here is how we're looking, my loves. I would not know that this look is only just a few dollars, or at least using products that were only a few dollars. My skin looks flawless. It's not really creasing up on my forehead or underneath my eyes or anywhere else on my face. Everything is smooth and just pretty. The only thing I don't love are the brows, which that was kind of my own fault because we ordered the wrong shade. And the lipstick, I don't hate it, at least what's not on my teeth. But I would have almost preferred it in just a bullet without the liner. The liner just kind of seems stupid. But even with that deep concealer fiasco, this still looks pretty damn good. Wait, did I have a highlighter? We don't, so we'll go in with this. Let's try using this champagne-y one. Uh, anything? Oh, yes, bitch. Ooh, fuck me sideways. I like it. Ah, give daddy that glow, you bastard. Uh, so here is how we are doing. I'm going to go ahead and wear this for the rest of the day. I will see your cute, sexy keister in just a second. And we are back. It is the end of my day. And honey, I want to rip these fucking lashes off my eyes. They are just a little bit on the heavy side. But how do we look? Oh, she's a little bit shiny. She has some random cat hair on her forehead. And I just seem really red around. Around this area. Is that how I've always looked? I think it's my eyes getting used to the light. But in all seriousness, other than where I wiped my little nostril right there, everything still looks great. Like this foundation is fucking killer. This lipstick is ass though. It's like creeping into my mustachio. Yeah, the lipsticks and the eyeshadow palette, probably my least favorite. But my goodness, that concealer and that foundation, both fucking stunning. Like, Oh, there are dead ass like $40 foundations out there that only last a couple hours on my skin. This just looks incredible. Come the hell on. This is like beauty pageant kind of glowiness. Nothing is falling off. My face feels so smooth. Nothing is rubbing around. Yeah, everything is just stuck in place. And I forgot to spray this with setting spray. And even though I have a little bit of a sheen, I'm not oily. I don't know where that's coming from. And it's not like it went out in the heat with this. It does kind of feel like it wouldn't last in the the heat. So if you're a northern lover, then this might work for you. And can we get a standing ovation for these lashes? Those are so pretty.
already. Might just buy some more. No, I don't fucking need any more lashes. Stop yourself, Nady. Wait, where the fuck is my microphone? It was all the way across the room. I don't know why the fuck it was over there. Sorry about that. Now that we're at the end of our video, thank you so much for being here. I love having you and please comment down below if you enjoyed this kind of video. Like, I'm kind of having fun. But yes, if you want a little bit more me in your life, head over to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash poplex. You get videos a day early. You get Patreon-only content. You get a Patreon-only store. And best part, it is cheap, fun, and fancy, just like me. And don't forget, my latest Repop collection is available at repopcosmetics.com. Comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter at OfficialNady. And you can follow me online at thepoplex.com. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you again soon. Bye. Did I do that right? Ugh.